Hey, we're here with week three of Pigskin Preview. I've got Addison Bustos here from Caprock. He's a, a senior. Uh, we, hey, thank you so much, Addison, for showing up for our little show here. Uh, let me just say, Addison, last Thursday, if you did, if you were sleeping in a, some cave or something, caught 13 passes, 392 yards, insane number, uh, two yards shy of the state record. Uh, did that against Estacado. More importantly, the Horns go three and zero. Hey, uh, talk on that night real quick. What what are you thinking as it's going on, and and what's been response? Uh, I was just having fun, uh, just doing our things. We got off to a slow start in the first quarter, and then we picked it up as we got our defense going. Uh, I was just having fun out there and just letting everything fall into place. Really, that's unbelievable. Now, did we were talking earlier? Did you know that the yards were per, that you had that many yards because you already had a three hundred? He's already had a three hundred yard game against Snyder this year. Which so in three of his two of his three uh, performances this year, he's gone over 300 yards, which is unreal. I think I total up. You have 857 yards, 37, just eight shy by what you had entire last uh, year. Yeah. Um, actually, uh, I didn't really know about the yards until after the game was over. I didn't know about the state record or nothing. I was just <laughs> having fun. Uh, me and Mike were just passing and playing our game. That was it. When you found out you were two yards shy of the record, did that? bother you at all or are you just uh, like oh man or, or what it didn't really bother me I was just shocked that I was there and uh, I thought I could have had it if I got the ball by the way that is the eighth greatest receiving performance in national history also uh, so he that's that's a way elite list all right hey we have Addison here but hey you're going down to Plainview mm -hmm. this is coach Parr's alma mater high school alma mater does he talk about that does that motivate you guys at all uh, yeah it does uh, they are they're a good team and uh they're gonna do a lot of defense, and like they did last year on me, I think. Do you, do you want to get that win for Coach Parr a little oh, yeah. bit, since that's where he went to high school? Yes, I do. I just we just want to go out there and win. Real quick, the Horns are three and zero. Why we have Addison here? Let's talk three four a real quick. Four of the six teams are undefeated. Two of them are two and one. Emerald High, Dumas, both very talented quarterbacks at both those schools. So. Tell us what you got. I know you don't want to look ahead too far, but tell us about what you guys are thinking 3 4 A, man. Uh, I think it's going to be a tough, it's probably the most tough district that we ever had, uh, it's rather than last year. Uh, there's going to be a lot of competition with all of us because all of the schools are competitors now. That way you look at it, and they're all good. They all have offenses and defenses. So I just think we're going to have to go out there and play our own game. That'll be fun. Don't, aren't you kind of looking forward to it each week? Because oh, yeah. each, each week is going to be like it the Super Bowl. It gets closer and closer. Can't yeah. wait. It's going to be Super Bowl each, each, <laughs> each Friday night, it's you know, Friday. in three, four. Yeah. Hey, why we're here real quick, Emerald High uh, lost last week. They got all the way to number six in the state. Mm -hmm. Lost to Wichita Fall Rider. Now they have Friendship Addison coming in. They've never played. Emerald High Friendship have never played. The Horns have played Friendship, so you're looking for a pretty tough test for uh, Yeah, it's going to, I think there's going to be a test to them. I mean, they, they were pretty good last year. They beat us pretty bad. Cause, yeah, they're a talented team usually. Yeah. yeah, year in and year out, yeah. So that should be a big game. Uh, Addison grew up with Gabe Rodriguez, a great quarterback. Gabriel, he's going by this year, by the yeah. way, instead of Gabe, <laughs> which is all good. But uh, no, talented quarterback at Emerald High. Three year start, anytime you're starting three years, three years. It's, like, it's like Mike Guerrero over there at Cap Rock. I mean, uh, just talented quarterback. So, uh, a couple of th quick things here as we wrap this up. Uh, let's give a shout out to River Road. Uh, they ended a 12 game losing streak last week and now they have Boys Ranch coming in. Both those teams coming off a win. Jamie Carr, very positive guy. Shamrock uh, is 2-0 and and they've outscored their opponents 91-8. to They were 0-10 last year. Uh -huh. So you know how that is once you're turning a program around. It's oh, yeah. a big deal. big deal. Yeah. And finally, Dalhart. Only Dalhart's 3-0 and and 1-3A. They, they can bring some defense, yeah. <laughs> And then uh, shout out to Claude, uh, they're three and zero, and they host Booker. Hunter Lyles, Lyles, a quarterback up there, uh, Addison, who's thrown for 985 yards in three games at Booker. So uh, they'd run that spread also. So hey, uh, Addison, the Longhorns will be playing Dumas later on this year. Is two and one, and uh, Jeff, our terrific photo journalist, whatever you want to call him, went up there and did a nice little piece on what it's, some of the traditions of Dumas. If you've ever made it out to a Dumas football game, you're probably wondering, what's up with those flaming pitchforks? Oh, it just started, uh, one of the dads of the football team built them, I'm not even sure what year, back in the 90s, to kind of like the tunnel, we just, some of them to fire them up and hopefully help the game a little bit. My name's Kyle Key, I'm a sophomore from Dumas High School. 
Well, when I was a little kid, they used to put them right beside the, the blow up. And when the demons came out, they would light them and they'd be flowing. After we got the turf, they didn't want them, in case they fell over, they didn't want melting the turf. It doesn't look near as good, but it, they're still there. Welcome back, and we want to thank Addison Bustos, great Cap Rock receiver, for being here. Uh, and don't forget, every Friday night, you got all your live updates at, at, a, at pigskinreview.com. Sorry about that. And then go to amarillo.com to get all that. It's, it's just a great Friday night. You can actually be at the games, get it on your phones. Uh, and just remember, pigskinreview.com, update scores. Come <laughs>